channel. Um, we come up with daily tech news and updates for you and provide you with the uh, try to provide you with the best service. And it also helps with the YouTube algorithm as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead. We have Returnal PS5 release date, trailers, gameplay, news, and rumors. Returnal is a third-person science fiction shooter with a mix of psychological horror and roguelike elements from Finnish studio House Marek, published by Sony and coming exclusively to PS5. Returnal sees players take on the role of Selene, a space pilot who is stranded on an alien planet with an unfortunate time loop. This looks super cool, guys. Honestly, this is the first time that I'm hearing of this game, but let's go ahead and check it out. Is there a video here? Uh, when we click into this article, um, more of a visual learner myself. So let's check it. Let's take a look at this video. It looks like it's for PS5. This looks pretty cool. a xenotype weapon, similar to our carbine technology. New technology discovered. Augments my weapon with an alternative firing mechanism. Highly effective. This will be useful. Wow, guys, that looks crazy. Um, that looks like a pretty dope game. So available 319 2021 exclusively for PlayStation 5. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so at its core, Returnal is a fast-paced third-person bullet hell shooter with a roguelike twist. You'll need to dodge countless waves of enemy fire and fight back using a variety of weapons at your disposal. Traversal is also a key element as threats will come at you from above and below, so mastering movement will be crucial, right? So this is just amazing, guys. So as you can see, um, there's more trailers here as well. Um, uh, which just looks honestly just ridiculous. So if you want to learn more about this game, guys, Returnal PS5, uh, just beware about this game, guys. It's, it's looking very sexy. Moreover, we have the MSI Meg Agus TI5 review. This is a gaming PC. Um, this honestly looks ridiculously crazy just at the design. Um, honestly, the MSI Aegis TI5 is one of the most bizarre looking PCs available on the market and the spec options are equally jaw dropping. However, the high price tag means this unique gaming rig isn't an option for everyone. Let's actually go and see. I don't think there's a video in this, um, uh, in this article here, uh, but you can see honestly, um, it's great for you. It has a unique chassis, unbeatable performance, likewise, and it's crazy specification options. Not good because it's, um, you know, because it's 
uh, unique chassis, uh, expenses. It's it's really expensive and it has not a lot of USB ports, right? So, um, so we'll go into this kind of uh, review, kind of a short review. Let's make a long story short. There's a lot of specifications with this item. So the MEG Agus TI5, right? Uh, is the latest addition to the MSI's range of gaming uh, desktops. Joining the roster uh, for a uniquely designed Aegis product line, right? Uh, <clears throat> the announcement and subsequent launch of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3000 series of graphics cards meant that we've been expecting some of the bigger PC hardware manufacturers to release refreshed editions of their desktop collections to advantage of the newest and most powerful hardware on the market. But MSI has done that with a greater flourish than most. The MSI Aegis TI5 is arguably going to be the most uniquely designed pre-built on the market. Spark, sporting a look that won't be for everybody, it's certainly for us though. Right? And while we initially laughed at the robotic looking features, at the eighth, uh, the aesthetic has really grown onto us. You're still getting the signature RC RGB lighting that features in many gaming PCs, but the Aegis stands out against other current desktops that mostly seem to follow one of the two trends, a stealthy and minimalistic case or a glass window chassis that puts wonderful, powerful hardware within front and center, right? So we also have the RGB lighting is soft and curves around the PC's mechanically inspired form. As the lighting is contained behind the front uh, frosted plastic, you won't be getting blinding effects that the other gaming builds inflict and actually a lot kinder on the eyes if you keep your eyes on your, you know, if you keep uh, your computers on your desk. The entire computer almost feels like an art piece, a love letter to sci-fi and blueprint for what gaming PCs can look like in our homes. Of course, this isn't all about appearance. The Aegis TI5 packed full of some scarily powerful tech. The configuration we reviewed a list of 4,200 uh, euros, around $6,000 and comes equipped with Intel iCore i9 and a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 GPU, other configurations available with an Intel i7 10, uh, 100-700K or more modest RTX 3070 graphics card. Um, that's a definitely mouthful, guys, but this is the new gaming pc guys it's honestly you know really bizarre looking it's honestly it looks pretty cool um definitely has a lot of specs to it guys so the msi meg agus ti5 uh review let's um let's actually move forward if you want to learn more about this uh please you know go ahead onto our linkedin page add us on linkedin electronic editions on linkedin and you can go ahead and look more further into the article okay moreover we have google connect subsea cable between us and europe right so that's kind of big news google has confirmed that it's the not subsea cable connecting europe and the us is now operational during Joining Virginia Beach in the U.S. to French Atlantic coast, the cable is named after Henry Dunant, the founder of the Red Cross and the first recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. Right. So if you guys have been hearing news about that, that's that's a big feat uh, that Google has uh, confirmed, uh, you know, that it's that it's done, which is which is, you know, pretty cool. Moreover, we have new ways of working in 2021. Right. We all work from home. Lots of businesses, lots of things going, you know, online in the digital realm. Lots of work from home uh, positions, which is really nice. Right. So a couple new ways just to rethink, refresh and revise how you work to say that 2020 was a tumultuous year would be an understatement. We faced a disruption and upheaval to every facet of our personal and professional lives, including routines that we relied on for years and not decades, right down to buying groceries and exercising. Understandably, many of us have 
and left wondering when things might go back to normal. Not so long ago, 91-year-old Margaret Keenan from the UK became the first person in the world to be given the COVID-19 vaccine. And there are early signs that we may be on the road back to normalcy, right? So let's just go, um, you know, read more into the article and see just, just a couple ways on, you know, how, uh, you know, on ways that, it is great to, to to navigate right in this work from home environment right so you know empathy comes first so at this time more than ever empathy must come first in every conversation seek to understand before seeking to be understood says stephen covey energy stores are generated by self family work in that order focus on your own health and your family bond in order to supercharge your energy available at work perspective helps process change maximize your exposure to a wide array of opinions including the uh the ones that conflict with the ones you believe in challenge your thinking and create new opinions share your learnings with your teams get beyond the walls of your office get out of get get out of your home office enjoy nature listen to a podcast or even take a call in the old school way while walking around the neighborhood video conference is an incredible uh, technology but is not intended to replace every other form of communication remote meetings evolve your format don't simply leverage zoom as a platform for your meetings evolve the way you conduct meetings to drive engagement participation and most importantly collaboration think about breakout rooms post-it notes and whiteboard functionality to really change the experience right so integrate podcasts to break through metonymy webinars in my opinion thoughtful dialogue delivered via podcast provides a different form than conference calls or webinars and within my organization overall knowledge and learnings have dramatically improved right so you also want to prioritize communicate with your teams and cut yourself some slack guys right so the the podcast suggestion that this article uh, suggests and you know on our page is really um really it makes sense right we also have a podcast called electronic news network uh, home of electronic editions guys go ahead and check us out we're on spotify google podcasts um, stitcher and apple podcasts as well all right Moreover, uh, we got AWS extends free work from home workspaces uh, offer to help SMB stay online during the pandemic, which is pretty great, guys. Right. So you got um, you, you know, you got Amazon workspace services offering these this great support. Right. So a AWS has reintroduced its free work from home offer for a uh, for Amazon workspaces in order to support small and medium sized businesses. The offer should uh, help forms as they look to implement long term remote work policies in the light of ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. And that's very nice by Amazon. Amazon's doing very, very big work. So we also have Lenovo says it's struggling to keep up with the massive PC demand. The world's largest PC manufacturer, Lenovo, has confirmed it's struggling to keep up with massive demand for new devices. On an earnings call with investor COO Gianfranco Lanchi, revealed Lenovo is operating at less than half of regular stock levels and potentially had potentially as little as a third as a result of demand driven by the pandemic and stay at home orders right so um just be wary guys you know if you're trying to buy something from original manufacturer lenovo um be be careful they could run out of uh items on stock as well and also um you know, obviously they're, they're looking just to keep up with the demand that they have now. Um, but that's always a good thing. Once you have demand for a product, people love Lenovo. Lenovo's are awesome. Um, electroniceditions.net also has, also resells a couple of Lenovo's itself too. So if you guys are looking for um, other laptops and, you know, Lenovo laptops are great prices, check us out as well. We definitely do have them. All right. And you have Google um, has ways we can cut down on security threats. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, certain ways that they do that, you can go ahead and follow us on LinkedIn. Click into the article, guys, to learn more information. Okay. And moreover, also YouTube and support for old 2012 Apple TV, but you can still use AirPlay. Starting next month, YouTube will no longer be natively able available to stream on the third generation Apple TV. First released 
in 2012. 9 to 5 Mac reports that a huge message is being displayed to users warning them of the upcoming change of the 4th gen Apple TV HD and 5th gen Apple TV 4K. The two streaming boxes Apple currently sells are unaffected, right? So be careful guys if you stream, you know, YouTube through Apple TV, especially if you have the old version, just be careful that next month uh, YouTube will not will no longer be able to stream on these apple tvs all right so you might want to you know take into consideration maybe get a new streaming device or use your laptop or any other device all right um uh lastly guys we have hp spectra x3014 review the best two-in-one you can buy with with the starting retail price of thirteen hundred dollars and at sixteen hundred dollars as tested the spectra x3060 is easily my new favorite two-in-one laptop uh today's full today's uh full market is full of capable convertibles that look good, work well, and do certain things that are really well. But while the Spectra X360 14 isn't perfect laptop, it tops the pack in almost every area. It's stylish. Filming in that now. Right. Okay. Um, all right. I apologize about that, guys. I think just the uh, computer just went off for a second. Just had to charge it up back again. But yeah, guys. So if you want to learn more about this, uh, this beautiful laptop, you can go ahead and follow us on LinkedIn. We'll leave a link in the description and learn more about what this laptop can do. We're actually just going to go into it right now just to see what it can do. Um, honestly, let's see if there's a video or anything like that. Um, nope, but we have definitely these photos and look at, look at how crisp these laptops are. Again, guys, I'm more of a visual learner. I love to see things in video form. Uh, it's just beautiful, but as you can see the display in the pictures, it looks beautiful. What's really great about this, according to the verge.com, verge score is nine and we have the good stuff. It's a beautiful design, great battery life, um, 
uh, 3-2 display with OLED and 1,000 nit options. Great. Um, bad stuff. It's not cheap, obviously. Touchpad is a bit stiff. Okay. It comes with some bloatware. Okay. And bloatware, no idea what that is. Um, if you guys know what that is, hopefully you can uh, uh, just help, you know, definitely navigate around that. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, this laptop looks very clean, guys, very sleek. If you look at this design over here, too, if we really just look at this picture, look into the depth of this picture, uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful, right? Um, honestly, uh, we have Microsoft Surface devices have been using the 3-2 aspect ratio for years, and I'm glad that the Spectra line is finally making the switch. If you're using the 16-9 display, which many mo modern Windows laptops have, you gave a 3-2 a shot, you'll see what I mean. You significantly... Uh, have you have significantly more vertical space which means less scrolling up and down less zooming out to fit everything you want to see it makes multitasking significantly easier without ma adding much size to the chassis and that's beautiful guys so um definitely definitely check out this laptop definitely a little bit more expensive than a, a typical mac the starting price of close to 1300 dollars. but once you have the hps hps are just wonderful beautiful laptops anyways as well all right um and then you also have a um you know a reviewer who also reviewed their belkin wireless charging free uh charging three charging tree thing <laughs> um so pretty much what they said is uh the 140 dollar wireless charger that looks like a cross between a bosnal bosni tree and the decor from 2001 a space odyssey might seem like a niche product but if you have a iphone 12 and an apple watch belkin's ridiculously boost charge pro 3 is uh charge pro 3 in one wireless charger with magsafe is actually great right so as you can see from this photo charges your iphone charges your apple uh apple watch or your smart watch and then your bluetooth headphones as well and this is the belkis wireless tree right it's not even apple right it's belkin belkin is another um you know electronics company as well create chargers and and, and other electronic products too Right. So uh, charging Apple devices has gotten more complicated recently for me. Now that the Apple Watch, now that the Apple Watch track sleeps, I've been charging it with a messy cable at my 